Have you ever wondered how the McGinty equation could potentially revolutionize the field of neuromorphic computing? Well, let's start by understanding what neuromorphic computing is. Neuromorphic computing is a branch of artificial intelligence that aims to mimic the structure and function of the human brain. By using electronic circuits that emulate the behavior of neurons, neuromorphic computing systems can perform complex cognitive tasks with high efficiency and low power consumption. One of the key challenges in neuromorphic computing is developing algorithms that can effectively process and interpret sensory information just like the human brain does. This is where the McGinty equation comes into play. The McGinty equation is a mathematical model that describes the relationship between neural activity and sensory input. By applying the McGinty equation to neuromorphic computing systems, researchers can improve the accuracy and efficiency of sensory processing algorithms. This could have significant implications for a wide range of applications, from robotics to healthcare. For example, in robotics, neuromorphic computing systems could enable robots to perceive and interact with their environment more effectively. In healthcare, neuromorphic computing systems could be used to develop advanced prosthetics that can provide users with a more natural and intuitive control over their artificial limbs. The potential applications of neuromorphic computing are vast and the McGinty equation could be the key to unlocking their full potential. So, the next time you hear about the McGinty equation, remember that it's not just a mathematical model, it's a potential game changer for the field of neuromorphic computing. To begin, let's explore the first component of the McGinty equation, the quantum behavior description, or PSQFT. In neuromorphic computing, this term can be used to represent the behavior of individual synapses or processing units. By modeling the quantum-like interactions at the synaptic level, we can better understand the complex dynamics of information processing in neural networks. This understanding can help optimize the behavior of neuromorphic systems and improve their computational efficiency. Next, we have the fractal characteristics, or PS fractal. This term could describe the self-similar and complex patterns observed in neural networks. Here, the intricate interactions between neurons and synapses are mirrored and incorporating fractal-like characteristics into the model could offer insights into optimizing connectivity, learning processes, and overall network performance. The third component is the incorporation of environmental effects, or Pusser's gravity. This term pertains to the consideration of external factors that influence the behavior of neural networks. These factors could include noise, variations in synaptic strengths, or other elements that impact the accuracy and stability of computations. By modeling these effects within the neuromorphic framework, we could develop better error mitigation strategies and improve network robustness. Finally, the principles of temporal energy and time formulas, while not directly applicable to neuromorphic computing, could be adapted to analyze the energy consumption and processing times of different neural network operations. This kind of analysis could guide the design of energy-efficient neural networks and help optimize processing times for specific tasks. In summary, if we incorporate these principles inspired by the McGinty equation into the field of neuromorphic computing, we could advance the understanding and development of efficient brain-inspired computing systems. By drawing parallels between the behavior of synapses and the quantum-like behavior described in the equation, we could enhance the performance, energy efficiency, and scalability of neuromorphic systems. This approach emphasizes the replication of biological brain architectures to achieve low-power, high-performance computing and to scale artificial intelligence without overwhelming power consumption. So, the next time you ponder the future of neuromorphic computing, remember the potential influence of the McGinty equation.